With this winter weather hanging around, our next guest thought we might be in the mood for some warm comfort food to get us through these cold days and nights. Welcome Chef Anthony Marino, the corporate chef for Don's Appliances, making a twist on his mother's traditional meatballs and spaghetti. So you're brave. <laughs> yeah, I'm brave. Making a yeah. twist on something that your mother already <laughs> taught you that you know, but you're doing something a little different. And you know, being Italian though, that is, you know, you really, there's only like, in the house, there's only like one way to do yes. it, meatballs and sauce. Does you gotta do it. <laughs> Doing this? Does she know she knows now. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. On her. So what do we have? So I'm I'm totally reinventing it. So okay. I'm gonna do um, pasta as the spaghetti squash. You know, a lot of people are trying that now, so it's nice yes. and light. Sauce, instead of like your mother's sauce that's cooked all day, we're going to cook it like really fast. It's going to be like a, okay. a quick, Fast you know, is important. Fast sauce because, you know, we're hungry. We need to eat. Yes. And then the, I'm going to do a mix on a meatball without breadcrumbs. So it's totally, it's, you know. Meatball without breadcrumbs. Meatball without breadcrumbs. And crumbs. the spaghetti is not going to be, a pot. it's going to be squash. Away, Mom, right? Yeah. going <laughs> to get it. All right. Where do we start? All right. Let's start with the meatballs. Yes. So I have what is ground beef, veal, and pork right here. They call it, you can actually find it in the stores like the meatloaf mix is what the traditional is. Okay. So I actually throw one yolk in there. So, you know, we're not dealing with any of the whites or anything. Just, Just the, yolk the yolk is a okay. binder. And then a little bit of cracked salt and pepper. Nice yes. and easy on this guy, all right? Okay. And now we're just going to mix this. And guys, everybody says, you know, how to mix, you know, your meatballs and things like that. Just mix it real light. You don't want to, like, Because you're not supposed to overdo it. How do you know if you overmix yeah. it? You know, when you overmix it, it's going to be a little bit tougher, and it's going to dry it out a little bit. Okay. So, so how I mean? do you know when you mix it just right? Oh, that's a pro thing. It's a, no, it's, it's, a, a, no, it's easy. Just like this. Just when you see everything fully incorporated. Okay. Like, see now how the egg's missing? Yes. And now I'm good like that? That's exactly what you want, just a little bit. Okay, not too much. And you know, a quick tip for this, guys, is you want to use, like I'm using gloves now. Right. But when you're home, you want to use uh, a little bit of water or a little bit of oil. You want to put your hands in water because cold water closes the pores. Yes. So the meat doesn't stick to your hands as much. You know how you get those like big King Kong yes. fingers and yes. things like that? <laughs> this makes I never it nice heard and that easy. before, so <laughs> make sure your hands are wet. Yeah, okay. make sure your hands are wet. Even keep like a little, uh, little bowl. My mother used to always do it. I stole that from her too. But it's cold water. She would keep cold water and just okay. keep her hands in the mix. To you keep know the meat I mean? off your hands. Yeah, I keep see. the meat off your hands. But for here, for TV purposes, we got the glove. Okay. We're all set. Get rid of it. Yes. Yeah. So we're just actually, what I want to do is I got olive oil in there and a little bit of basil just to set off some of the flavors. Mm, yes. We're going to, yeah, you can smell that, can. right? So we're going to pan sear our meatballs. Another like non-traditional thing. You know what I mean? A lot of people yes. can't <laughs> But I like to fry them just to get that good crust on there. Just like that. Okay. See? We just want and to how flip. long? Like, are you doing it? I'm doing them just like a minute or two on each side because this cast iron is going to go right in the oven. So I'm okay. going to finish it in the oven just to get that full flavor. But I, I want to make sure I get that browning effect. I see. And are you making sure that you get some of the uh, basil, the pesto sort of yeah. on each of the meatballs? Yeah, you know, you want to get it in there. It's, it's more essentially for the oil because we want to like create like the basil oil because once okay. it roasts in the oven on convection, guys, you know, if you're Dawn's Appliance customers, you guys know convection. Yes, right? yes, yes. So let's talk about the pasta for this. This guy, we're going to pop right in the oven. Okay, be careful. We'll That's very fun. hot. I got it. I got <laughs> I got chef hands. We're pros like that. Yes. You know what I mean? Don't try this at I home. won't. Don't All worry. Right? <laughs> so our spaghetti squash. Everybody uses spaghetti squash. Mm -hmm. Check this guy out. See it right here. Mm -hmm. um, I hollowed it out, and I sliced it on the bottom so it lays flat. Okay. So this is how we're going to cut it like this. So guys, you want to put it right in here, just like this, and we're going to slice it all the way down. Okay? Nice so and that's easy. what scares me, but okay. Well, you know, you got to use a sharp knife. Yes. what helps. So then oil, salt, and pepper. We're going to roast this guy in the oven convection, 400, okay? Oh, so you roast it. I see. Mm -hmm. We'll roast it and watch this. This is what we get when we cut it like that. Look at that. It looks just like Oh my pasta, goodness, it does. It? Looks so sweet. We'll crank this guy up. We're going to put this right in. Okay. How difficult is this to do at home? I mean, obviously you're the pro. You make it look really simple. It's not. It's can not. I do this in one evening? You can do this in one evening. I did it last night at my house. Okay. Just popped everything in the oven, you know, and took it out. You can even do this a day ahead, guys, and then shred the pasta cold. So even if you do the Sunday meal prep thing, yes. you want to do it like that, you can do this, have it all ready to go. The sweet potatoes, too, we'll cut them like this. Yes, that's a large sweet potato. Nice. Okay. And see how I'm doing this, guys? The round vegetable, I cut it down. So it lays so flat. So it lays flat. That's a good tip. Okay. Anything you want round, guys, you want flat, 
you know, just give it a slice. Yes. And so what's in here with the um, the squash? There's is that we caramelized just put a little bit onions? Of caramelized onion, yeah. Okay. So we put a little bit of caramelized onion in there, just a little bit of olive oil. Here's our meatballs that we already browned. Yes. We're gonna fire some of them in here. And we need the sauce, right? Yes, of course. So I use just a cold chilled sauce, just like this. It's chilled. Yeah, it's okay. chilled. And now we'll put it in there. My mother would have like, you know, sauce on the stove for yes. like, you know, for however long. Now okay. I'm just putting it right in and making it one time because I like fresh sauce. You don't need to like, right. you don't need to have it a couple times. We're gonna go into the drawer right here. Yes. <laughs> Let I pull out a bit, you like that? I do. So here's our chips. Look how nice and crisp they are. That's very crisp. We're gonna put them right on here, just like this. I can help you, okay. Oh, yeah, you're good. Yeah, you got a little bit of sweet pea on it and a little bit of ricotta. Oh, I so see. So the ricotta goes on just So like what this. goes first? The ricotta goes on first. Then a little bit of the pea and then a little bit of that mint right here. Okay. Just like that, okay? Make it nice and easy. Just. So this is our bruschetta, but it's mm -hmm. not really bruschetta because it's the so sweet it's a, potato. So it's just a little different twist on the bruschetta, okay? okay? How long does it take for the sweet potato to be prepared? So they're thin. They're going to take like probably 15 minutes to 20 minutes. Here, I got a spoon for you. That was going to say. Yep. Thank mm -hmm. you. There you go. <laughs> it's going to take like 15 or 20 minutes for the for that. Just you, we want to get it nice. How many and crisp. peas? I think I'm overdoing it. No, nah, there's no wrong way. Okay. I mean, this is like we were talking about before. This is healthy food. You don't have to worry about that. <laughs> and you need to eat your peas. Okay. You need to eat your peas. I like that one. <laughs> I, I'm talking to myself. Okay, keep uh -huh. going. <laughs> so we're going to twist the pasta just like this. Yes. We'll serve nice little bowls just like this. And now we'll put a meatball right on top. How cool, you know? So your mother's never tried this before. She doesn't even know we're doing she this. She doesn't know you're Not doing it. Not even till now. So we'll put that on there. Yes. And now we throw a little. And this is still comfort food. I mean, it's not the the pasta that we're mm -hmm. used to, but still comfort. It is. It's comfort food, but it's it's re it's redesigned for our Monday like a meal prep style. Yeah. Oh, nice cheese makes everything better. You know, I snuck the cheese in there. You can't <laughs> have the pasta without the cheese, of guys. Of course not. This looks fantastic. Cool, Thank right? you so much, Chef Anthony. Hey, it's such a pleasure, guys. Thanks for having me on Monday. This is Chef Anthony Marino, the corporate chef for Don's Appliances. Thank you again, and thanks to Don's. Appliances and Lux for providing our kitchen set here on PTL.